Mark Bosnich finally arriving at Old Trafford to sign on the dotted line for Manchester United for the second time. It's eight years since he was last there as a fresh-faced Aussie teenager, playing three first-team games before his work permit ran out. Now the Wizard of Boz is back and being hailed as a returning prodigal son. Mind you, he's not quite so popular at Aston Villa, the club that brought him back from down under. So what's the truth? Are John Gregory and Mark Bosnich really at daggers drawn? I'm saying to you now, um, I have no problem whatsoever with the people at Aston Villa or Aston Villa. Um, I've got nothing but um, a good feeling for everyone, especially the supporters. Now Mark Bosnich is facing the toughest test in English football, replacing the irreplaceable at a club which has every major trophy tucked away in the cabinet. Being the post-Peter Schmeichel Old Trafford number one will mean life under the microscope big time. I couldn't look myself in the mirror in the future if I know I'd shirk the challenge of following Peter Schmeichel. And like I said, whether or not uh, I'm good enough to fulfill his shoes, the proof would be in the pudding. We'll see in the future. But it helps when your best mate in soccer is already at Manchester United. So how Mark Bosnich settles in at Old Trafford could be up to you, Dwight York, Dwight York after his equally controversial departure from Villa Park. To have a friend here uh, uh, at Manchester United, will, hopefully it will be a good help, but that's all by the by. The most important thing is to produce out in the football pitch. Has he given you any sort of advice on how to, to handle the move? Because obviously it was a difficult time for him when he left Villa as well, pretty, pretty similar sort of thing. Yeah, he's put it this way, he's been there for me. He's been there for me when I needed him. Manchester United may already be head and shoulders above the rest, but they're not standing still. At Old Trafford, the king of goalkeepers is dead, Long live the new king.